Hey, then welcome back to Jolly Drops. Here is another episode of on Rampa. I took it, I had supper in between episodes, so that's why you're not hearing any music. But uh, last time, what happened is um, we started the trial, and yeah, we just started the trial. Really, we found all the evidence. And we started the trial. Nothing else has happened, other than the fact that everybody's so blind. And it's clearly this fella right here on the screen right now. But let's go uh, continue with it. Um, yeah. I mean, we all know Makoto killed him. Okay, and uh, we're back. I apologize for that. That actually gave me a heart attack and a half. Uh, but uh, looks like uh, yeah, Leon's not blaming us. He's having a spasm, is like a spasm in the picture over here. But yeah, I forgot over the volume. It gave me a heart attack just now. I'm innocent, I was just playing catch the knife! We're making a bet to see who gets ten dollars! Thank you. Well, Kyoko's gonna, gonna end up being my favorite character by the end of this thing. Because like, she's the only character that ain't common sense. Okay. Yes. I believe that. Greatly. She's right. There's gotta be some break breakthrough somewhere. I'm just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. Unless. It's been. Um. Yes. You can concentrate by holding down the space key. While you're concentrating, the time will slow down, so you pay closer attention to what everyone's saying. To top of that, you steady your aim. Make it easier to target potential weak spots. Concentrating like this will consume focus gauge. If this gauge empties, you can't concentrate. The focus gauge will recover over time. So let your brain take a rest. There's no rush. Well then, good luck and have fun. <sighs> I always account. Keep bringing it up. Oh. Yes. But where does that get us? The kitchen. No. Was that true? No, it wasn't true. Right? I need to be so. I need something so trigger happy. Like I see someone talking. Bang! No. Well, what if I have a witness? <gasps> what do you think, you know? <gasps> Remember what you were telling me earlier? That's what he's doing. <laughs> well, I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all, and all the eyes were still there. But I fished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass. One of the eyes was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Yeah! Ugh. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yes. And at any point while you were there, did you ever see me come into the dining hall? Um, no, I don't think so. I think you went through the vents! You don't think so? Yeah, who do you think? Who do you? No, he definitely wasn't there. Are you sure? Right? You make me, you say you I don't think you don't think so. Now all of a sudden it's uh this makes you sound like I uh, I might have snuck in there. You have you have, like multiple blind spots. The knife disappeared while Kuno was in the dining hall, but I wasn't there the entire time. In other words, there's no way I could have taken the knife. Okay, then what about this? What if the idiot swimmer girl and the Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? Eh, I don't blame you for thinking that. Girl? Yeah, uh. Oh, oh my, look at her hair! I get involved in something like that? Look at her hair, it's all spiky now, she's mad, she's like, you know, she's Sonic. Which, I'd like to ask the bear if there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. This is something you should have told us before. Each murder is allowed 
proud to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. Awesome. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But uh. what if they did work together and they just didn't know about the rule? Uh, yeah, it's totally possible. I think we just learned about that rule. Uh. Okay, Monokuma's getting so mad. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, shut up, Bear. Anyway, you make this too easy, easy for me. And I didn't take the knife, so I'm not the killer. Okay, so then, who did take the knife? It was Dio. Tina seems the obvious candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me. Then who was it? Tell us right now. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Then why isn't anybody speaking up? Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's Leon, you're gonna, you're gonna get punched, you know that. Well, no, you get executed because you're the killer. Then I'm gonna punch you. But then couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no, because um. Just spit it out already. Yeah. I stayed in Hina's room last night. I got so scared thanks to those creepy videos. I wasn't really thinking. I just asked her to stay over. Which means we have airtight alibis. Okay, we still don't know who took the knife then. Stayed over? Doesn't that violate one of the school's regulations? We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorm. But it doesn't say we have to stay in our assigned room, so. I don't think that's a problem. There's a problem. I think Monokuma done something it's about it. A, problem. a boy and a girl spending the night together? It's it's unwholesome. There's a girl and a girl. But I'm a girl. Yeah. You are? Oh my gosh, I'm you are? Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Uh She's wearing a sailor uniform. Possibility. Right, Hina. Why are you only speaking up now? Say this at the beginning of your sentence. Oh. oh, yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Okay, Why tell me. You say so in the first exactly. Place. Thank you, Byakuya. Well, because they're not here anymore. Who? Junko or Sa Sayaka? Someone who's not here? Are you talking about... Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later... Sayaka. Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen room hall was Monokuma. I got it. Then Sayaka is the one who took the knife. That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. Okay. When she came into the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. <gasps> As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... She took the knife. The took the knife was the victim herself. So, if she grabbed the knife, then why is the sword used at all? I'm sure, I'm sure she just took it for self-defense. So you're saying the knife she took was then taken from her and she was killed with it? But then why is the sword used at all? You still could have killed her. Okay. What? He, he did do it after all. <sighs> no, you're wrong. So that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction. Can okay, we shut up for a second? You possess the most terrifying talent. Damn, if I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder. They're all morons! It city says Lee on the back wall! The nameplates are switched! Am I the only one who did any, any investigating? Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die! Hold on. It's still too early to decide conclusively that Mik 
Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Thank you, Kyoko. You see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. <gasps> and until we unravel that little mystery, you simply She's afraid the drive leave. Bewildering? What the hell are you talking about? You're in the room when you're talking about it. Something was missing from the scene of the crime that by all rights should have been there. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, the DNA. The, all the hair and stuff. Bruce the Hangman's Gab. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> As such, as things advance, further the class, yeah, further the class trial, the Hangman's Gambit will eventually take place. At this point, to reveal an important phrase related to the incident in question, you have to deduce the phrase from letters flying around. Letters already known. Complete the phrase by shooting down the flying letters in the right order. Use the mouse to aim and then press the loud. Yeah, blah blah. If you shoot in the wrong letters, you'll suffer damage to your influence gauge. This gauge reaches zero, or run out of time, you fail. And well then, uh, good luck and have fun. Something, something that I should, I should be able to see, but wasn't. That must be a crucial point. We can just figure out what what that something is. Okay. We need to use. Um, don't. R? What's the word? I. Wait, but I shot it. I shot it like five times. I shot the A like five times. It didn't work. Ah! What is this? Yeah, that she's talking about the DNA samples. So the culprit removed some evidence. Yes. Yes, and if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't be unusual at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. Yes. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove and trace that Sayaka had ever been there. So why is the body still there? Why is the body? Does that make sense? Does it not? No. If that were the case, they would have had to do something about the body itself, not just her hair. Exactly. <laughs> yes, very true, very true. <sighs> okay, then why wasn't there any hair on the ground? Because somebody. <sighs> the killer got rid of it all, of course. He removed any trace that ah! had ever been there. Then that means... What am I even watching? <laughs> Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence of some hair? Yes. No. No. Other reasons Shit. My cranium is shrinking by a second. I would like to hear these reasons. Okay, go ahead. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Yes, the door handle. Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yes. Yeah. Then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? Yes. What do you mean? Does nobody look at that? Ah. It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do you remember? Yes, friend? I remember. Struggle getting into the bathroom with evidence that proves it is. We broke it. Is ah. I got it. Get it. Evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom. You're talking about the doorknob, right? Yes. Huh? The doorknob. What doorknob? <sighs> the doorknob for my bathroom. It was completely broken. Yes. See how the top part was unscrewed? Wait, did we just take a picture of that or something? How are we showing them? Oh, yeah, true. But, but what does it mean? In trying to bypass the lock, they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's owner. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. Yeah. So what? You're saying he wouldn't break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. Except that the... You still don't see? Okay then. 
It's got common sense. The boys' rooms don't have locks on them. Let's take another look at how the incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help. Oh, another recap. Remember I told you about this game having an endless amount of recaps? Kyoko said it's a bewildering act. They always didn't notice that at first. But is that the key, is is like that the key point here? A bit more learned about non stop debates. Absolutely. From here on out, the numbers of weak point spots will start going up. No matter how many weak spots there are, there's essentially only one lie or contradiction in that debate. What I'm trying to say is not all weak points you see are the necessary false. Use truth votes on the wrong ones, and not only will you fail to refute what they said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence, blah blah. blah. <sighs> now this is now that this important yeah, now this is important because if you influence if your influence gauge reaches zero, you fail. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies and contradictions. Well then, good luck and have fun. Shit, I suck at arguing with people. That's when this space bar comes in and comes into play. Fast endorphin. Okay. 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 And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Hey, what's wrong? If you keep going to start the trial, you're going to have to get put on trial yourself. I thought that was the right one. The incident took place in the Kodo's room. Sayaka was first and then fled into the Then the killer ran and they got into the bathroom. No, you're wrong. I need. I just need to wait. Wait one more. The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with walk-in bathrooms, right? Okay. Yes. Now that you mention it, that is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. <gasps> What are you talking about? Wow. The doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Okay. Monokuma over there can testify to that. Exactly. Yep. True as true can be. I like the music playing for the trial. And since Monokuma, we get, the, we get a completely different soundtrack right away. But you know, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But to have such a cruddy door. <laughs> That's not lucky at all. So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. Yeah. The killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? Everyone should have known you can't. Because the anything. things are switched. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene of the crime. Do you know this shit? Say it yourself. Don't wait for me to say it. <sighs> Oh, I missed that line. So the killer convinced convinced the bathroom. The, so the killer was convinced the bathroom door was locked. So they didn't know the doors couldn't be couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene is that they didn't know the crime was the crime took place. I got it. Common sense. <gasps> Not really. The name pits are switched. <gasps> you say yourself next time. Don't. What the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms. What? Which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through. Yes. So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident, but the killer must have been considerably confused with no idea how they actually got the door open. Exactly. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is definitely something I wouldn't do since I would have known exactly why it wasn't opening, right? Exactly. That is a definite possibility. Finally. 
So the killer would have to be someone who didn't know they'd switched rooms? Yes. Then Makoto couldn't have done it. Yes. That's what we're trying to tell you. Okay. Then who did do it? Deal. I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. No. But what happens if we can't decide on who we think did it? <sighs> well, why don't we just vote right No. Majority rule. No. That's not a good idea. Even the killer's thing is doesn't think that's a good idea. Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Yeah, if only more than one of us actually looked for evidence. Does no one have any other thoughts or questions? It does not matter how trivial they may seem. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do have one question. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Do we have bathroom breaks? You don't gotta sound so disappointed. There, share spiky again. Ah, back to the ums and yams and ums. I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room? In the Finally, a good question. And we're over time anyway, so thank you all for watching today's episode of Odd Jobs. If you guys are here to watch it, hit the like button. You guys want to stay updated for this nonsensical trial. Subscribe to the bell icon. Yeah, as well as you still have a good day.